So the next activity is to learn how to declare variables. Now variables are um, shortcuts in code where we can tell the code uh, to look for a variable. Most of the time it's a number uh, which is called an integer which is a whole number that can change. It can be a word so a string of text and it can be a character but what we're looking for in the code is um, we, we're going to say that I want you to look at an integer and if something's going to occur then what we need to do is make that happen. So the syntax or the rules for that is this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say alright um, uh, an integer is going to be a, a word called sound and sounds going to equal explorer dot read microphone and that is the syntax for that so uh, sound is not something that we've created just yet but sound is going to have to read the explorer mark the explorer microphone and give it a value so as you can see if we if someone made a noise our we want our alarm to go off because it heard something so we want it to constantly read the sound and see if it, if the alarm needs to go off and so once we declare the variable of sound we can say this we can say if sound now you've got to get the correct case sensitive sound is greater than say 10 10 uh, we want this to go off. We want this to happen. So um, this is going to make that work. Now there is uh, there is a way in which to write this correctly, and it, the example is here. Uh, now this one here is actually uh, reading the x-axis. So x is uh, say let's say if you hold the explorer flat, it's left and right and it wants to read the accelerometer uh, which is the x-axis and we're going to tell it that it's going to be a value called x-axis now if x-axis is greater than 50 then we want the alarm to go off and our alarm at the moment is just simply that and it's going to run through that once and so this one means that we're looking at the sound uh, we can also do declare the variable of y-axis and x-axis. So um, not only do we have this line, this line of code here, we also have the uh, y-axis as well, and say that it 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 also if it also goes off, then what are you going to do about it? So if we put that there, for example, on the computer's thinking. Didn't, yep, there we go. So there's the x-axis, and what we would do is down here we would say uh, if x-axis is, uh, let's say it is greater than 50, uh, we then want to, oops, we then want it to do this code again. All right now. I'm pretty sure that I have got the uh, this code wrong because I think it's actually a curly brace that I need to put in there and one down the bottom which is incorporating those. Um, if I look at the code here, yes it is, it's a curly brace and all that's in brackets. So the correct syntax for this is that they are in brackets, there, remove those, and just check that again. Yep, it's just a curly brace. So we go back to here and take that one out and put the curly brace in. And put the curly brace in there and then you can see that one there. And I can do this now. Put that in there. And then I can say the also that this one is also going to have the same line except it's going to be the y axis so I'll just copy and paste that in there again and say y axis read the y axis which is up and down uh, read the y axis I'm putting in the um, comments as well let's read the microphone All right, and drop that down a bit and then of course 
course, I can just simply copy and paste this one again and just say, I only have to change one letter, which saves me a lot of time. So and then we say Y axis. So here is uh, declaring a variable. And this is in what's known as an if then else statement. So if the sound is greater than 10, then make that go off. Now that only happens once and same with that. So the next couple of lessons, what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you about how to make this what's known as a function and then call on the function to actually sound the alarm. And so when you're explaining this, you might want to go through examples of uh, what an integer is, uh, explain what a variable is and how it changes, and then go through what the code is. That's all in this booklet. So here's the example of the declaring the variable, and here's the syntax and the code for it. Here they can answer what happened when you ran the code, how could you improve it. Of course, what you would do is say, all right, well, we could do that for sound x-axis. You can even do that for light, and you can even do that for heat as well because the um, Explorer has temperature and a temperature sensor and a light sensor, not just a accelerometer and a microphone. So next lesson will be about functions.